The aftermath of the bomb cyclone, the violent winter storm roaring into New England with hurricane force winds sending high tide to record levels. Fox News' Brian Yenis is in Boston with the latest. Brian. It's cleanup day in Boston after some 13 inches of snow fell here. That is the most snow this city has seen in about three years. Some parts of Massachusetts seeing 17 inches of snow, but the real story is really the flooding. Take a look over here. This is Boston Harbor, and yesterday it saw its highest tide in nearly 40 years. And when that water came over that ridge over there where you see the New England Aquarium, some two to three feet of water rushed into downtown. In fact, take a look at this video. That is the aquarium subway station in downtown water coming down into that station the fire commissioner saying he has never seen water reach that area yesterday's supermoon combined with the weather causing an astronomical high tide either tying or eclipsing the blizzard of 1978 the water reaching portions of seaport boulevard all throughout the waterfront in boston the fire department having to save some folks who are stuck in their cars in this icy saltwater slush some 32 coastal communities according to the governor have seen significant flooding all along the south shore this photo from duxbury shows vehicles engulfed by that slushy saltwater mess. Back here in Boston Harbor, you can take a look at that building. That is the Cruise Lines building. We spoke to someone there who says they saw some 16 inches of water come into that building. They've been there since 1967, and they have never seen that level of flooding. Now the race is on today to make sure they can drain the water throughout parts of Massachusetts before the deep freeze settles in. We're talking about minus 20 to minus 25 wind chills here over the next couple days. In Boston, Massachusetts, Brian Yenis, Fox News. Uh, and I think Thank I'm you, Brian. Run for your life. Run.